In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a layer and um, do the final prep on your make the cut for cutting it with your Cricut. Um, as I mentioned previously, I want my name to be a different color. Um, so I need to send this to a separate layer. So what I'm going to do is over here on the bottom right hand side, I can send selection to a new layer. And you'll notice, I'm going to close that one out. <coughs> you'll notice I now have two boxes over here. Um, these are layers. Um, I can hide these layers and um, I can hide that one and I can hide that one. <laughs> um, or I can leave them both visible. Basically, the primary purpose of this is when you get ready to cut, if you only want to cut the red vinyl first, if I only want to cut the M and the border, I will hide this and it will not cut because um, it is not on the primary mat. Um, you can confirm that by doing your cut preview. What shows up in red is what's going to be cut. Um, so again, I'm going to show them both for now, um, but that creating two layers is really helpful, especially when working with uh, multiple colors. I'm going to zoom out just a little bit more. I'm going to grab Morton and pull it down here. And the reason I'm doing that is because I am going to do two separate colors. So when I prepare my mat, I'm going to have my red vinyl up here and I'm going to put a piece of brown vinyl down here. And then I can cut two colors with one cut um, and then be ready to apply it. One more thing I'm going to add to this before I get ready to prepare my mat. I highly, highly, highly recommend a um, test cut when using vinyl. Um, so how I do that is I import a shape um, right up here where the square triangle and circle sh button is. You click on that. There's lots of different shapes in here that are a lot of fun. I always just stick with a circle. It's under the miscellaneous tab and I'm going to click on it and it's going to put it on my mat. So I'm going to put this down here in this area. That's where I'm going to do my test cut. Um, again, you'll notice it's on the same layer over here as my name. Um, I want this to be on in its own spot because I want to cut only the circle the first time because it is a it is a test cut. So I'm going to again selection to new layer, move that circle to its own layer. Now, as I prepare to cut, I'm going to hide my name because I'm not ready to cut it yet, and I'm going to hide the monogram because I don't want to cut it yet either until I know I have my my settings all correct. So now I am ready to cut. I'm going to prepare my mat and then I will show you the next step.